Welcome to the Cold and Dark Start tutorial for the Fly-By-Wire A32NX. First of all, we'll start on the overhead panel. We will switch on the batteries. We'll now switch on the fuel pumps. And the external power. We'll switch on the APU master and start switches. If this is your first time starting the Airbus, click to activate the EFB and in settings, realism, you probably want to set the IRS align time to instant. So now let's set the ideas of the IRS to nav and once the APU light shows available, you can activate the APU bleed. Now let's flick the engine starter over to ignition and flick the engine to master switch. When the N1 of engine 2 is 19, that's a good start. So now let's head down to the pedestal, flick the engine 1 starter and await a good start on engine number 1. With both engines successfully started, we can return the mode selector to normal. Head back up to the overhead panel and switch off the APU, the APU bleed and the external power. A couple of fiddly bits to square away. Let's first activate the transponder on the pedestal and then we'll activate right, predictive wind shear. For convenience, I've run through the pre-takeoff checklist here so you can follow my full flight tutorial directly after this. So auto brake to max, activate the seatbelt signs. I'll also turn on the no smoking signs while I'm up here and double click the forward cabin call button. All that remains on the checklist is to arm the spoilers, which are on the pedestal, arm them like this, and finally set the takeoff flaps. You can now push back, taxi out, and follow my full flight tutorial from here on out. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe for regular sim content. Take care, and I'll see you next time.